there is this misunderstanding that brahmachari means one who is unmarried or one maybe i'm not saying not but not only that or one who is uh, not indulging in any sexual act at all and never get married then one say nitya brahmachari and so on. now the word brahmachari in sanskrit means that charya means action activity movement brahma means the supreme truth brahman so brahmacharya actually means any action or motive or movement towards understanding the truth is brahmacharya not only not being married you can be unmarried for i know people who decide not to get married because it is inconvenient but they do indulge in so many things they are not looking for the truth you can't call them brahmachari you see the difference So normally we say brahmachari. There is a Hindi movie also called Brahmachari, old movie, who is doing all kinds of mischief. This is not a brahmachari. In fact, I would say even if a person is normally in relationship with someone or in is married and still is looking for the truth, he is a brahmachari because he is moving towards the Brahman. Now, why was it that in the olden days? young students went to the forest academies uh, and remained single to understand the truth why because there were no distractions imagine you are married and i'm not discouraging you i'm a married man i have kids please uh, you sit down to meditate and then the wife comes and says hey get up now let's go to the mall gone finished your meditation is over or you sit late you say if you sit late the light is on i can't sleep so it off your brahmacharya movement towards brahman is cut off there only so in those days i mean it could be other way also ha huh? wife and husband husband it could be in those days the students therefore decided to do all their studies before they get entangled in this problem or before they get disturbed so all studies were done during that period called brahmacharya now you must remember that in ancient times life was divided into four parts nobody remained a brahmachari forever the study period was brahmacharya period <clears throat> then came according to the vedic configuration grahastha which means one who has a family graha house one who has a house grahastha then after remaining in the grahastha stage now during the brahmacharya stage without any disturbance or distraction you have learnt a lot you have understood the way to the brahman you have decided okay there is something like that then you go to the grahastha period now in the grahastha period one particular thing which you did not handle and were not able to cut out to find the truth happens there is no better way of cutting your ego than getting married you say i know everything and somebody else says no you don't know anything you say i am now free of all anger and actions are made but your anger is so what better way to understand oneself than having a relationship like that i'm not saying it's compulsory no no that also is important also the grahastha was introduced because well, perhaps the offspring that comes out of one who has studied all this and who is a brahmachari may be someone who may move to the truth even if you couldn't genetic studies show that some things are transmitted through the genes so then while leading a grahastha life the student then uh, the person then moves towards in the end of his life when he has settled everything he goes to vanaprastha which means into the forest doesn't mean actually into the forest it means reduce your responsibilities now 
now that your ego is also nicely rounded mm. and use the knowledge which you are acquired when you are a brahmachari and now you have full attention because you have finished your responsibilities move towards the truth which you are searching but in between got cut then when one has found the truth then he gives up everything and says i am a sanyasi now need not mean he changes his robes the mind it's all matter of the mind the attitude the same person's attitude may be brahmacharya grahastha vanaprastha and sanyasa now if you really lead a life of discipline during the period of learning which is called brahmacharya or moving towards the truth then even a married life is not so difficult as you think can be handled uh, you move on with life nothing sticks ramakrishna paramahamsa used to say that i have applied oil in my hands before opening the jackfruit you know the jackfruit is very sticky mm. he said before opening the jackfruit i have applied enough oil in my hands so the brahmacharya period is applying the oil so that later on in grahastha when you open it don't it doesn't get really sticky you move on i'm saying all this to explain this word brahmacharya nachike yama says to nachiketas yad ichchanto brahmacharyam charanti this truth wishing which wanting which people lead the life of brahmacharya or lead a life which is uh oriented towards understanding the truth brahmacharya 